<laughs> I did not mean for that to cut off quite so abruptly. Although I don't know if any of this audio is working. Something seems like it's going wrong. As per usual. Sorry if there's anybody just checking in. I'm video on demand. Feel free to skip ahead a couple minutes to where things seem like they might actually be working. Because unclear whether that is the case right now. Hmm. For some reason, I just can't bring up the chat externally here. Up and running? Up and running? No. Well, I guess we'll just have to rely on that internally. And hope that nobody sucks. Okay. Hi, folks. It's been a while. Uh, God, I don't even remember what the last thing I did on this channel was. But Let's Play-wise, I think that was... I think that was that blind let's play the story mode for uh, that survival game. Why does the name of it not come to mind? Uh, the Long Dark, which is pretty good. Um, I'm going to keep playing the rest of that game in my own time. So far it feels like the best way to do this is to just start off the beginnings of games here. <laughs> and then quickly abandon them. Um, but no, no, I mean... Uh, with these blind let's plays, I'm never quite sure if something is going to go all the way to fruition. Like, if I'm going to just play through the whole damn game and have all that recorded. Especially when it comes to live streaming, because I can't really chop that up and edit it in my current setup at the moment. Uh, so that means that if a game just doesn't really stream well for what I'm trying to do, I find out with all of you in this beautiful experiment called life. Uh, and then it just sort of loses a bit of momentum, and I, I don't want to, I don't want to play something if I feel like it's losing momentum, uh, just in terms of my enjoyment of actually streaming it. I don't think there's anybody who watches these, so I don't care that much if it's not something that many people are into, but, you know what, you know, fuck it. That being said, this game, I am excited for, and I've been sitting in this menu for a while, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the X button. This is a game by, I believe, Remedy Studios, makers of other uh, famous third-person shooters. You may have heard of a little thing called Max Payne, or Alan Wake, or Quantum Break, or other things that rhyme. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead. How dark do I want this? Everything is probably gonna be kind of black and grayscale, as I understand it. So should I make things invisible? Why not? Why not? For effect. Headphones. Um, yeah, so they, uh, Remedy tends to make uh, third person shooters that are quite good. The only ones that I've really sunk my teeth into are the Max Payne games, of which I played like one and three, and a little bit of two, although that one wasn't really holding my attention for some reason. I haven't played the more recent entries. Uh, specifically like Quantum Break, because like, who has time to watch a reportedly kind of shitty TV show as a tie-in to the story? Although I heard that the gameplay was actually alright for that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Wow, they have actually a shit ton of options. What about audio? Oh. Damn, okay. Uh, anyway, this one, as I understand it, where I just get things started is supposed to be more like surreal like uh, government agencies or like probably in the style of like US government agencies like the CIA, FBI like some big government agency office building that's just completely amorphous and surreal and kind of mystical and you go in with some super awesome magical changing Excalibur gun that has chosen you or that you've chosen or whatever that gives you access to this bizarre space that keeps kind of like changing and it's all like yeah weird weird 
psychedelic brutalism from everything that I've seen uh, in trailers and promotional content. And I'm just excited. I'm, I'm honestly kind of hyped for this. Although, I don't really know quite what to expect. I think this one... I think this one might, uh, might let's play well. So I'm just going to go ahead, roll those dice. Ah. Oh, man. The oldest house is what it's called. Of uh, the building you're in. It's all supposed to be set in one building, but it just keeps changing. Bear warning. Oh. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times, it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room... ...and the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie. Ugh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible. But we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie something to distract us from the truth they're lying to us we're lying to ourselves the room's not the world the world is much bigger and much stranger there's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world we all feel safe in that room but sometimes, sometimes, something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen, freak out, and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Anyone here? Well, hell yeah, all right. You got my attention. Oh, wow. You can really fucking go when you hit that sprint. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that movie is a movie that they're actually alluding to, like Shawshank. I haven't, I still haven't seen Shawshank Redemption. But they were just got around saying what the name of the movie was by going, what's that movie? What is that one? That's a clever way of doing it. You know the one. Yeah, we all know the one. Hmm. Do I have any guns, you figure? Well, time to find out if I am a criminal. <gasps> I'm a criminal! <laughs> Damn. Oh god, I hope there aren't too many collectibles in this. I got a weird feeling. There will be. Time to read. Alright. Uh, certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent in incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials, unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart. Number two, pencil. <laughs> Number two, pencils? Hmm. Recent incidents. Who fucking... Did, did the fucking Joker come in here and do that shit, fucking Heath Ledger? Alright. Any objects considered I representations of archetypal concept e.g. rubber ducks ketchup bottles iconic ketchup bottles like Heinz okay 
All material under Bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. Well, there's nobody here stopping me right now, it seems like. Is anybody... Hello? I clearly am carrying like a rubber duck or a Nintendo Switch or something. Is anybody... Come on, dog. Just like the government. I... Okay, so from footage I've seen, she holds, like, this gun thing right-handed and kind of runs with it slung at her side, gunslinger style, and the way I'm walking right now is very clearly like they've animated it so that my <laughs> right hand is supposed to be holding something. Like a bottle of water, or a... I, I don't know, say, a weapon of some type. The game looks pretty good, though already into it. This is sort of what I came to expect of just like, oh wow, that is not rendering. <laughs> that was some bopping. Uh, what's your name? Head of research, Dr. Casper Darling. Ah, oh, how darling. What a good photo. Our bureau at work. Mm. Heard there's some weird Norse type janitor supposed to watch out for. Maybe I've been too spoiled for this game already, although I figure it's probably gonna weird enough. Zachariah Trench, director. Okay, so did that guy shoot himself? Is that why I'm being brought in? That seems like a good inciting incident, and it seems like what happened in that last clip. Like, maybe what the hell- whatever the hell's going on here. Well, that's not. That can't be good. Hmm, oh, it's- probably just motion activated. Mm. <laughs> Sinister bathroom. A lot of gray. I am expecting a lot of gray. I'm excited for the gray. Okay, well. Better safe than sorry. I figure if the space is gonna be like really well thought out. I should check everything. Just in case. Federal Bureau of Control. All these yeah. years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. That seems like a pretty on the nose name for a branch of the government. Right? Like maybe if somebody was like, hey, I'm establishing a Federal Bureau of Control, people might be like, mm, <laughs> hang on. they made these people into pistachios that just are in a white bag that says pistachio. Wow, this is... They really hit this on the nose. What does that say at the top? Hot and... Spicy... Hot and spicy something. Hot and spicy dissonance. Alright. Am I going to be reading a lot of documents? I dare say I probably am. There's really nobody that's going to stop me from walking in here, is there? Just don't mind me. A shark in his, although secure, <laughs> permission to, following basic protocol, shoot to guild, good luck. Alright, I'm into it. I'm into it. So just be, just be on the alert for... Sharks? Maybe with guns and licenses to kill. Don't worry, they are in control of the sharks. They are not in control of the sharks that have guns. They answer to no one. Can't find your office. Watch your step. Hmm. That's not helpful. What does that say? Rangers from security department. So, like, ask a... Ranger? I've made this too dark. What? That's a very unhelpful poster. Can't find your office? Fuck you! Should've watched your step. It is so dark in here and I just heard somebody. Like, 
and singing. I might turn the brightness up a tad. Hello, as you should all know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them for a number of people. Oh, from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request form R4.E from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from fil uh, filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department's chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under section 75.2 of the employee manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head, Dr. Darling, Ms. Marshall, Ms. Salvador, uh, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland, uh, as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best, your admin team. Now, Dr. Darling was the head of research, right? Based on those posters, I don't recognize any of the other names, but I'll try and keep them in mind. God, everybody sucks at their jobs here, evidently, and I am ju I just need to turn this brightness. Actually, hang on real quick. I'm just going to turn off the lights in here for effect, for ambiance, for me. Just a little thing for me. And then I'm going to turn the brightness up, because wow, that still does not help. Um, display... God, so nebulous. Barely visible. What the fuck does barely visible mean? Oh man, that's still so dark. I will get to you, voice. Flashlight would be nice. Oh man. I am as dumb as a fly. Hello? We'll get to you. Of your smile gone. You Ooh. It's got a little cowboy hat. I like this dude. Lighting in this place hey, really sucks. Excuse me. There you are. Hear about the job? Hmm. Janitor's assistant. Ah. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Oh. Elevator That's that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. The janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they nice. don't hire you, then uh, you are no element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you hold. I've Thanks, done boss. enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody yeah, with no my face at all. Because as far as I'm but concerned, no matter it. what else the rest of this no game face. says, but that, that is what said, I'm here for. I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Who hasn't worked retail and wanted to murder someone with an axe? I won't say that that applies to me, legally speaking. I see you, Button, but I want to look around. Oh, there's Darling again. Casper Darling. Head of research? Is that what that said? Head of research. Okay, good to know. Just checking around. Oh, I see. This is just the rest of the stairs back down to the lobby. Okay. Oh, y'all, this was not there before. I see what we're doing here. That was... Okay. Okay. I see how we're doing. So it begins. Can't be the good for And the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. God, I hope this is literal. Will this you help? It's just like Justin Timberlake poster. Behind it, there's just like a little, little drawing of like a duck or something. I know what's behind you. 
Wow, that's, that's really pretty so far. All right, I'm. I. Did I, I lose you there for a moment? Yeah, to you the know credits. What's on my mind. Oh, hang on. What the fuck my was that? My baby brother, Dylan. I didn't know that. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. What the fuck? See the janitor now. Achti is just short for Dylan. I'm already forgetting his name. Zachary Trench. Or Zachar Zachariah. God, I can't fucking read that. I'm gonna go ahead and say Zachariah, because that seems more ominous. A landscape. More cowboys. America. Ah. This is just a, pa a painting of... God, I cannot quite make out what that says. Oh, oldest house. It's quite a big building. Right, what was this saying? I, I am already pretty into this. Hey, should I be concerned about this? Hmm. Well, <laughs> probably nothing to worry about. Uh, that was just a physics bug. <laughs> I don't think that was anything supernatural. At least I can pretend it is. Although, that would be a fantastic excuse for physics bugs. Wow. I am gonna have to clean this up later. My boss, Octi, is gonna be really mad. Alright. Federal Bureau of Control, reminder, RE drafting. Any public facing material. Uh, well, pending any notifications of death related to Willow Awe, or A-W-E, please adhere to the following guidelines, word slash phrase to use in the service of his or her country. Regret, proud, pride, will be remembered. Word slash phrases to avoid. Alaska, <laughs> scissors, blood, bleed. Loss. Apologies. Sorry. What? Oh, come on. I was with you in Alaska and Scissors, but... Damn. I'm, I'm not into that. I do not care if these are supposed to be motion activated. I do not like how abruptly these doors open and close. Um... Just from a comfort standpoint. So this is locked, I do believe. I need to hit the button. Clearance level one. Okay, so I need to unlock clearance levels probably. You'd think there would be something in the security booth that would maybe like a maybe like a uh, ID card or something. But I guess I don't see anything other than maybe just that collectible, which is what this room is about, and just this delightful information. What did it say? Multiple bre uh, containment breaches detected. Multiple building shifts detected. So the building is moving around because shit's going going bad. Presumably those two things are connected. That is so funny. It looks like I'm supposed to be carrying a bottle of specifically Dr. Pepper. Today's stream is brought to you by Dr. Pepper. Pretend you're holding a bottle of it at all times. Or, or the government will come for you. And then it'll be all pride and no Alaska. Hmm. Hmm. You underground, perhaps? Basement? Urgent? Oh no, just urgent messages. Okay. A 
love those old little shoot things. It's so pretty dark. I wonder if at some point I will get a flashlight, or if maybe I should either live with this, or... Oh man, I love the little, little hair curls on the side. That's great. I look fantastic, by the way. This is awesome. I am excited. Even if my appearance... <laughs> Ready to go. Get fucking ready. Watch out. Alright. Uh, even if my look doesn't change at all, I am into this. I'm ready to go. Federal Bureau of Control. Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day. For the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Trench. Mm. God, I... I love the look of this. <sighs> okay. Also, they just put the director's office on the first floor. I guess... Oh, wait, no. I did take an elevator. I don't know what floor I'm on. Oh, that's not... That's not great. Central executive. I know it's said to go investigate that, but... Oh, hang on a fucking second. Jesse... Snyder? Isn't that supposed to be me? Hang on, am I not Jesse Snyder? I know I'm a Jesse, but I... Am I perhaps a different Jesse? I don't recognize any of the other... Hmm. I bet those are just dev names. Never good when you happen to have an emergency phone. Never a good sign. An extinguisher is just like, if there's anything that bad, you can deal with it yourself. An emergency phone is like, no, 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 you're gonna need help with this one. Doesn't matter how good you are. Shit. Oh, cool. Shit, shit, shit. So maybe I did it. That's nice. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Oh my god. So I'm getting that weird little swirling. Oh, I am talking. Something's oh, outside. Oh, I was coming here a mistake. Oh, this is great. So there's some external entity that's affecting. Oh man. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> up. I do seem to have some uh, red, as I was saying. There was that weird fraying that was centering on the gun. And it got worse when I looked away. The board. There it be. She talked to it like, like she was already aware of it. So maybe I have a pre-existing relationship with this entity, and that's not great. Triangle to melee. Here we go. I don't know. Maybe they're a friend. Maybe we're cool. Maybe we're all good. The same gun. Yeah, okay. No, I just won't pick it up. I don't know that I had much of a choice. Okay, now I have a gun. Gun is all wobbly. 
Is it like that when I'm not aiming down sights? It's not. Oh, well, it is a little bit sometimes. <laughs> Go ahead and say 65 and give that a go. Mm, 60 ADS. See how that looks. Oh, that's really laggy for some reason. Weird. <laughs> smoothing thing where it's trying to make me go I don't love that okay um let's bring these both down to 60 controller aim assist controller aim stickiness slows down the movement of the camera while targeting enemies applies to Magnets, bullets to the target. Okay. I see how they're doing that. Uh, I'm just going to leave those on for now. Mm, I guess. I guess. I guess. Uh, and that feels better for that. Yeah, all right. Let's let's do like this for a little while. Something about the controls feels a little odd, just for aiming. But I'll figure it out. It's probably just the way they have their sensitivity set up and their input things, all that fun junk. Hear that? And you did that by shooting yourself? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know oh. what? I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. Are you? Well. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? I don't know what about this situation seems safe. Oh wow, that's... Uh, why are you still red? Why you... Hey. 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 You know, for good measure. 
just gonna go ahead. Okay. I'm comforted. Sorry about your office. I do like the little particle effects and all the debris, debris that goes around the room. Explain what's going on right now in the story if I had any fucking clue. Uh. What is that? You can't let this happen. 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 I don't know. Maybe you can. You stopped it. You. house, which seems to be the headquarters of said mysterious bureau, and as far as I can tell, they manage supernatural stuff? It's not super clear. The entire thing's been kind of surreal. Uh, and my name is Jesse something? I don't know. Don't know the last name. And I'm just here. I seem to have been called here, and the director seems to have just shot himself, and I picked up the gun, and have now control of the gun and the gun is alive and it's talking to me and maybe I'm the new director I'm it's not clear and I don't like that the doors do that every time I walk by yeah and also this building moves around like it changes all Harry Potter staircasey when I'm not looking Oh shit, do I now have the clearance level 1? I guess not. I do have this cool gun, but I guess I don't have clearance level 1. Um, uh, hmm. But this is a this is a remedy game from the people the that line. brought you Max Payne. Oh shit. Secure line of communication. Well, guide us. Reach the hotline. The hotline. Says the guy. Okay. like that the corpses still have en like enemy detection so that they're still red when I look at them. I don't mean like that's a bad gameplay mechanic. I mean, is this going to attack me when I'm not looking? I feel like it might. So just just okay. All right, we're good. Like I said, not good that you have Oh. I literally just walked in. The only person who I've talked to in this entire agency is the janitor who thinks I'm going to be working for him, and I just assume I am. 
the only person I've talked to, so uh, I guess I'm a janitor now. Let's see. Federal Bureau of Control Confidential. For Marshals, eyes only. Marshal. I think they're department head, from what I can gather. Uh, to H. Marshall from L. Keenum. Subject, another dead. Uh, Marshall, we checked out the suspected AWE, and that was like some shorthand for like a supernatural event. I don't remember what it was an acronym for, but you know what I mean. Uh, in Duluth. Uh, wasn't anything, just like house fire before this. Uh, just like the house fire before this, and the malfunctioning clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a uh, better a way to sort the fake AWEs from the real thing, or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch. Oh, Sherman Ranch. That sounds fun. Uh, next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. Seems like maybe not a great thing to hope for, given what is implied by what you're looking for. Oh. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions world events. upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, hmm. the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. In grain, the Bureau's a key guess? component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner, and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose, and you're, well, fuck. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Oh. Well, thanks. We saw a little bit of that already in a cutscene, except the audio is weirdly disjointed from the video there, and it's clearly out of sync with the speech, but a lot of other things are going on at that point. Why is everyone floating? Okay, anyway, I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna touch it. Material. House memory. Conceptual material. House memory. Cat to blah blah blah. Conceptual material. Unidentified, oh, undefined reading. Do not have a clearance level. I guess I can use these for maybe cra crafting? They even put it on the pillows? Jesus. Oh, this is like a bunker. Emergency supply storage. Uh, oh, do I need to just close this behind us? Don't like all that. There's literally, like, not even a security guard at the front gate. I walked through and beat. So evidently there was something going on. And oh boy, I'm going to open it again. It's going to be different, isn't it? Isn't it? No, that looks the same. That looks the same. It does, right? I'm not sure where I'm... Okay, welcome to the oldest house. If there's... Oh, jeez. Okay. Good to know where I am. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss. Burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? Alright, it's our enemy. Okay, so that, that weird, like... contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. There's clearly, like, as you saw that little, like, ring of, uh, I don't know, kind of polygonal gray bits that floated around my field of vision. There's some other entity that is occupying my head that it seems like was already something she knew about and has been living with for a long time. Because it reacts to my thoughts and just kind of, like, chimes in by just kind of going, bleh. <laughs> you can really easily knock over a lot of the, the random shit lying around that Tritus just kind of like flops over when you walk too close to it. Hmm. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of these to read. Uh, Federal Bureau of Control. 
reminder, are you drafting any public... Oh, I, I've already read this. This is something old, but it was fun. Uh, this seems new. How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Uh, like I did, except there's no one there. Uh, start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in uh, 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. To... what? Wait, what? To... other government? Uh, we are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. That's great. That's a great thing to hear when you walk into the lobby. Uh, if they do not leave, ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? I guess we're in New York. Uh, how did you find this place? <laughs> how did you find this place? Oh, no. Oh, that's not very transparent if you're central off. Okay. And their answer is, we are su uh, sufficiently harmless. Explain, uh, if their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. Uh, if their answers seem, escort them to a private room. There, uh, perform the gunner's psychological assessment. Uh, if their responses are within acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. Cool. Great. Awesome. Oh, also, Slick, just for your own, for your own personal viewing, my favorite one so far. Tell me it's in here. Yes, here we go. Attention all plank. A shark in his, although secure, permission to, following basic protocol, shoot to kill. Good luck. This is the first one I found, so that's really, really encouraging. Now the corpses are floating, and I don't know why. I've been kind of excited for this game to come out for like a while, and... So far, it's kind of what I hoped. Completely incomprehensible and cool. Yeah, it's normal. It is very hard to see. I turned the lighting up, and even then, I could turn it up further. But I'm scared I will lose some of the effect. But I cannot fucking see what's going on. Maybe this weird magic gun has a flashlight on it. about this is super comforting but I do seem to have good pushes that go like that for some reason since I picked this shit up also I think this giant diamond thing is the board unclear what their deal is but I'm gonna guess administrative oh god I'm not sure what these security guards are about but I guess I should Come on, recharge. Well, you've got some help to you, don't you? the control point. What does that mean? Help me fix it. Oh. I 
turn the lights on. Holy shit. You did it. We did it. Hello. Oh, what happened to my Can gun? Can you hear me? My gun is gone. Are you with us? I'm back to walking like I'm holding a gun even though I'm not. Are you still sane? Hmm, I don't know about that. It's unclear. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit! You're the new director! Hold on! We're coming out! Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, HRA. extraordinarily, you. Human resources. You assistant. are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Mm. Yeah. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. Everybody seems really cool with this so far, so I it's don't hard know to make out. But he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that. And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? Oh. How? I did? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I, I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Right, I'm here for Not my yet. brother, it seems but like. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. <laughs> I like that in real time she just didn't I'm say anything for, you, for of like, course. like a minute and a half. We can try it together. Just like, does that work for you? Okay. You with me? Yes. We did it before. Push the hiss out. Uh Oh, like that over there. Well, let's see what this is first. Hmm. Oh, shit, I didn't actually. Case files. Oh, I've got new for both. Ugh. Service weapon OP. I think OP probably stands for object of power. Uh and Containment procedure. No unique procedures required. Description. Uh. Par. Para. Shit. Uh, para para utility. I don't know why looking at that word was so difficult. Probably because it's all in caps. Uh. The object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows para utilitarians to blank. <laughs> I assume shoot people. It seems like it's what it's done so far, but it's not clear. I think that's about what you can fit in that space. 
This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of blank. I, I, director is what they've been calling me, I guess. Object will determine whether blank. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. The process is dictated by the blank, though their criteria is unknown. I think the board. That's what I saw in the uh, subtitles as who was speaking when it was like centered around a large diamond and a chorus of voices all spoke in unison telling me I got the job. Background. Uh, the object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. Oh, is that my office now? There's a lot of blood in there. Uh, the popular hypothesis, blank. Many forms uh, throughout history, blank. Mjolnir, Excalibur, Fern. Oh shit. Ferranastra. I assume this is a mythical weapon that chooses its owner that I am unfamiliar with. Uh, all weapons that blank of their wielders. And if objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. Uh, if this is the case, blank. See Dr. Darling. Presentation 11.1 for more details. Okay. Um, oh, I have something else as well. God, I'm going to spend so much of this reading, aren't I? I do not read very quickly, if you have not already been able to tell. Uh, right, so, yeah, this, this was the lad who we found dead, and also kind of talks to us occasionally in weird cutscenes. Um, extermination of paranatural to uh, topics, control points. Oh, okay, so this is what we were already just sort of learning. Control points are locations that the Bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. Uh, when the appropriate harmonization uh, devices are arranged around the control point, the blank arrangement, uh, the surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. Uh, these control points are discovered by blank detection of an unobstructed ping using the blank within a 37 foot radius. Numerous uh, researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctures, or blank, the mitochondria of the cell, or vulnerable spots of the oldest house. The common factor in these theories is that control points are susceptible to external influence which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside it. Theoretically, this technology could be ex uh, extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be blank. <laughs> Refer to file 725 blah 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 control report. Cool, so uh, I guess the building has agency, which... Oh, <laughs> agency. Uh, we have fun. Urban legends. Uh, urban legends are believed to be the... Uh, to affect the creation... Uh, believed to affect the creation of altered materials, or AWEs, I guess. Uh, but can also dictate the characteristics of an AWE. Okay, so they are separate things. Uh, urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes, we recognize certain blank, informed by our own blank, and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can eventually be artificially blank in popular culture using blank. Our bureau made anthology television program. Wait, why did that need to be redacted if that's our own bureau's? Hmm. Oh, I guess internally lower level people might not know that it's a program made by the bureau? No? Okay. Seems a weird thing to leave unredacted. Uh, once the seeds are sown, human imagination uh, uh, exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore. AWEs that only occur on blank. A pair of scissors that con uh, that consume human oh through <laughs> two punctures on the mm. these details uh, living in the minds of so many. Have given ha have been given the strength to belief. Oh shit! Urban legends are not just stories for children; they are paranormal realities waiting to happen. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Human. That word is too long to be blood. Maybe I should just do this like Mad Libs and put in a random word wherever there's a redaction. Re redaction? Is that? That can't be how that word goes. That can't be a word. Great. 
direct action. So I guess this is some of the materials used for stabilizing shit, which makes me feel better now that I know what they are. Oh, cool. Oh, outfits! Astral dive suit. Well, I guess I can just wear this. It does look pretty cool. This is a leather jacket. <laughs> oh wait, I don't know where I got this or where this came from. Maybe this is bonus content? But I, there's only one version of the game available in the PlayStation Store. I guess it came with this. I'm gonna go ahead and just wear this good outfit that I already have for a little while. Fast travel. I don't know that I necessarily need to walk to the old, oldest house. Uh, signposting is kind of weird. I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to go most of the time unless this is where it wants me to go or I get that weird circly entity in my head telling me I need to go in a direction. I do hear some things happening over here though. So maybe I'll just follow it? This hiss, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, my table now. Don't know what this is about. More altered materials, I guess? That would be my guess. Undefined reading, yeah, okay. So I have. I don't know what I use this for, but it seemed like probably crafting materials of some kind. I do love the run. The run is very good. I don't love the sound. Maybe I should fast travel. What are my options for fast travel? Where can I go? Director's office, central exec... Okay, well it seems like I have a thing in the central executive anyway, and I'm already here, so perhaps this is not what I'm supposed to do. I don't know how much long- oh, okay. I see. Hello spiral voice in my head that wants me to go over here and look at this corpse, I guess. Oh, uh. <laughs> oh, so they're not dead. Oh no, I feel bad for shooting that other one now. Hang on. just floating and I fixed the floating. Hey guys, I fixed the floating. Hmm. Well, I hope you didn't need it. Didn't to. work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Well, I don't know. Jesse, over here. If this is morally system. better or worse than having shot a couple of them. Okay. All right. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, director. Ah, a shot. Jesse. But, um, we, we do have fun here. We have a lot of fun. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. You can't call it that. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. You can't call the town ordinary. That's I've too on the nose. I've been this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. God, I hope this is happening in I've real time. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones. And before my time... And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. I am My the boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Ooh. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. Maybe he can get Trench a has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. 
That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. Wearing one? Oh, I see. They call me the director. Maybe that's what she's wearing. That vest thing. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. That's what the building looks like from the outside. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons, too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. This is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Thanks, well, Emily. On that note, it's been about an hour. I think I'm going to call it here. Um... Yeah, yeah, this is Control, and I'm already into it. I'm pretty into it. I'm going to go ahead and say that so far. I, it, It's already just gone in, like, full buck wild, not really sure what's going on, and decided from the get-go that it's not fully going to explain most of it. Uh, and that works for me. That works for me, and I can run like this. Can I still get the gun out? I can't get the gun out. But I can have my hand held like I'm holding a gun. Nice. Alright. I will see you later. Oh, nice. Thank you for dropping in. I, I don't know that I'm going to do this with regularity. But uh, I just wanted to try this out as the uh, starting one. Uh, uh, in, a, in a live stream. I might do this uh, pre-recorded and chop it up a little nicer. I'm not positive of that yet. I just... I really wanted to play this game, and I was like, I'm going to stream that. And then I was like, well, maybe if I'm going to stream that, I should do it on a PC setup. And then I was like, no, I want to play it now. And I already know how to do this, roughly. So that's what we're doing, and I might do it next time again. I don't know when, but it'll happen. Probably. All right. Thank you for tuning in.